Okay, this is what we're going to start with. Um, this is actually three breadboards uh, put together. I ordered breadboards. I couldn't get two. I, I wanted two, but I couldn't get two, so I ended up getting three of them. So I'm going to use all three for this project. I had an old one here, so I just ended up taking this end piece off, which I'm also going to use. Uh, it's going to be laid on this board here. I'll put up the measurements in a bit. This is going to be the base for it. So it's going to sit up a little bit higher here. And it's going to, these are going to be the risers to raise it up. So basically this is how it's going to go. Like that, and then this will sit on here, like this, and like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue these parts down to here, to this, the bigger board here, set this in place, and then we'll continue from there. Sounds good? Cool.
all I have of these are um, red and black so what I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna paint three of these different colors so they're not all the same they're like it's not have four reds and I'm gonna have this switch over here with LED over here to turn the whole unit on so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the box back here for wires I wanted to actually put this in behind so I can get at the wires better but if I do end up putting it back here and then have the spot for the wires over here um, when I go to plug the wires into these it's gonna come right over this spot here and then I won't be able to open the door to get at the wires so this is gonna have to come over here and then I'll just make a little square here for the short wires this will be the long wires here so I'm gonna be using AAA batteries for this and I have these boxes here I'm just gonna wire them up so they can give me um, 12 volts and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna <clears throat> make a couple holes in here on the bottom so they can fit right in then I'll make a top for it to screw it down um, I didn't have any hinges small hinges so I just 3d printed these for the doors and um, these actually work pretty good um, they're 3d printed in one piece you just when you get them off the printer you have to kind of loosen loosen them gently so they don't break but they'll work perfect for this you don't have these you can use just jewelry box hinges okay so on the bottom here I went ahead and uh, made two holes for the two battery packs connected this one here to this one and the output is going to be 12 volts so I have wires coming out for this side which I need 12 volts up here and I have wires coming out this side which I need 12 volts over here I also 3d printed you can make something like this square blocks if you have a saw you can make them round or whatever I do have a 3d printer so I did print four of these um, which will be the legs or the feet whichever uh, I have some rubber mat which I'll glue on the bottom here after I screw it in so it doesn't slide I'm gonna put up all the whatever parts I 3d printed which basically it's only the hinges the feet and this little cover here put a switch on and off switch and uh, an LED, some LED, the LEDs that I showed earlier so you can tell when it's on or off so these are the parts that I printed I'll, I'll put them up for anyone that wants to download them I just painted this with the dollar store paint and what I'm gonna do is after I'm gonna give it a clear coat to make it a bit shiny Okay, my power supply for the board is 
it's going to be 12 volts. But I'm going to have outputs of 5 volts, 6, 9, and 12. And in order to do that, I'm going to use the uh, some Moffitts. So I have a 7805 here, which will give me the 5 volts I need with two capacitors. I don't have a 7809 or a 7806, so I'm going to use an LM17, two of them, with some resistors to give me the 9 volt and the 6 volts I need. I'll put a wire diagram up for you guys. I have this little screwdriver here which is good to uh, put the wires in here so I'm gonna drill a hole right here and set it in There you go. My compartment for my wires. And there you have it. I have my uh, 12 volts here. 
9 volts, 6 volts, 5 volts in my ground. Uh, I don't want to put a 3.3 .3 volt in here. I don't really use it for anything. And if I ever do have to use 3.3, .3, I'll just hook it up on the board itself. But I got my pentiometer here. I got two buttons here. On and off switch. I haven't put the batteries in it yet. But yeah. They should be glued already here. Put my small wires in here. I'm gonna have to maybe put some fridge magnets here keep the doors closed so when I change the batteries the wires don't fall out There you have it. I have my 5 volts here. I clear coated this so I'm going to have to sand it up on the top there for a bit. Have my 6 volts here. I have my 9 volts here and I have my 12 volts here 12.7 12.7 that's what's coming straight out of the battery uh, I didn't use a 7812 Moffitt for the 12 volts I just ran a straight wire from the battery from the battery straight to the 12 volt anyway there you have it um, it's a nice little board Obviously, you can um, use other batteries so you don't have to use as many batteries as I'm using. And you can make it as small or as big as you want. But yeah, you have everything here. You have your wires in here. Let's turn this off. You have your wires in here to use. The small ones in here. works perfect these are the connections I can use this button here these but two buttons here which I'll hook up the wires into into these here two wires got the little screwdriver for it potentiometer here which is the three wires three connections here and it's a nice setup I think it is anyway anyway guys thanks for watching and Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.